जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन आर आर हैव पुल्ड ऑफ येट एन आदर हाइस जॉस द बॉस हैज शोन द वर्ल्ड हू द बॉस इज एंड इट्स एन इनक्रेडिबल फिनिश no one would have imagined uh, that rajasthan could have pulled this off but pomi did pomi had called it and he said no he they are still in the game rajasthan win by two wickets joss butler 107 and 60 and uh, we have done everything we could for all the kkr followers we got joyda in the house there was uh, the pathan in the stadium but wasn't meant to be joyda because joss has shown the world who the boss is i think it's an incredible match and more than anything else it is just so worthy of being a top of the table clash you know kkr goes all guns blazing gets 223 narayan gets a century everything looks great they bowl well they take wickets at regular intervals and still joss manages to win the game it is just such an amazing game the other interesting thing till the last 3 overs were bowled okay joss butler who had opened mm. had much less had about 42 43% of the strike when the match ends with they finally won it he's got exactly played 60 of the 120 balls wow and that's incredible that means he how much he farmed towards the end just to make sure he was the guy who's completing it mm. and and also in terms of like method i mean you look at look at that for an innings 107 not out off the 60 balls and that's about right sort of close to 180 mm. strike rate it's only about right if the other end has enough going for it in terms of everybody attacking at the other and also not wasting deliveries and in the way that they've gone about their tournament generally and think to last season as well whether it's with Jaiswal um or not as they go along they seem to get quicker and quicker as they go in there that's the way that's their mm-hmm. style it seems to be bat and just be conservative today what needed to happen was they needed to play shots and because of this impact sub rule they they go you can lose one they probably lost a, one more wicket than they would have liked but you can lose more wickets as long as you still have an anchor so what was happening was there were new batters at the other end yes. but there was a focal point that they could keep just try and stay with the rate and once you get to the back end we said it at the combo we said you know once you get to the back end 75 of 5 80 as it was sort of closer mm-hmm. to today they're not afraid to get that these days and what happens is the pressure shifts from batter to bowler and it's no longer a case of oh they've got to try and make the play here mm-hmm. it's more a case of i've got to ensure i'm not going for boundaries here and once you're speaking to yourself in that language which is negative language it's pretty difficult to shake yourself out of it and be on the front foot in positive language where you're getting things right so yeah tough it's very tough as you as you go along in the game as we said for the bowlers they're the ones when you have the good ones they're the ones yes. who win you the games at the back end in cases like these You know, Joyda, the innings progression that we just saw, 79 in and two wickets in their last five. And we were talking about Joss Butler. Why this innings is such a beautiful one is he had wickets falling all across on the other side. So one is he had to get the runs and a lot of runs with wickets falling at the other end. And you know, the question is how much is enough? Because 75 and five. batters back themselves 80 in the last five how much can you feel like this is enough for a bowler uh, really today today that just with the impact sub rule it's really been bottom question i think what was even more important was the fact that they didn't have wickets mm-hmm. that means yes. butler was forced to take a lot of the strike he played a lot of dot balls just to stay on strike so in the last three overs he must have played at least five dot balls just to stay on strike because you were saying it in the last over you said oh this could get risky because he didn't take that single and there's three of three yeah. you said it could go either way yeah yeah you could get into trouble and that's what it is he had the confidence he stayed with his game he said i don't want to put in avesh khan so i think the important thing in situations like this is a player turning around and saying that i will finish this game hmm. i will do it i'm the guy out here i'm going to finish it so if we lose it win or lose it it's going to be my 
responsibility, not anybody else's. And I think he took that responsibility. I was just looking at his strike rate. He was batting at about 42 of 33 balls. That means he was batting at about 127, 128 in the 12th, 13th over. From there, he just shifted another mm -hmm. gear and he took it over. And see, see the beauty of it. Up front, he was not the striker. Yes. Aggressor was first, first Yashasvi Jaiswal. And then Riyan Parag was an aggressor. Uh, Sanju Samson. All of them played short knocks. Rubman mm. Powell. Rubman yeah. Powell in the middle. All of them played their knocks. But he took over only when there was nobody else there. Mm. Then he finally stepped on. Mm. As, as a, a sort of captaining batter, um, captain of England, um, you, you'd back him to be a guy who is keen on responsibility and the fact that when he's chasing scores, he manages to do it this way is testament to that, I think. When this you, is his third hundred in a Yeah, in a case, chase, yes. right? So if you, if you flip it round and you put it the other way and you say you've got to put your, your foot on the accelerator and make sure you're trying to bat teams out of the game, I think sometimes for some players, particularly the older players, caution takes over because you don't mm. want to throw caution to the wind. You say, it's my responsibility. I've got to stay out here. I've hit one for six. Um, I'm, he's not going again. Or if it's there, maybe, but I'm not going to make one, right? But look at it the other way around. Now he's chasing. There is that pressure of the scoreboard. There is no option. You have to stay in. But you've got to be hitting sixes yes. to make sure you get over the line because you've got no batters at the other end. There's nobody left in the change room and he manages to get over the line. It really strength of mind and skills, of course, and fitness because you're out there the whole time. Absolutely brilliant from Butler. Jordan, we saw him cramping towards the end. So the fitness you talked really hot, you know, in yeah, yeah. Everybody, Kolkata, how it it's is. It's really humid. It yes. hasn't rained for two, three days. So Narayan had clamps. All the players who spend a lot of time out there, you're a key fuse. I mean, there's so much he's doing, so involved he is in the game. And it was really difficult for him to play the innings that he did. But I think that is so important, that hundreds in chases. Mm. I mean, that for me is always bigger than even yes. hundreds going up front. And what are the odds that somebody like Sunil Narayan plays brilliantly. Yeah, that's crazy. Bowls beautifully. Yes. <laughs> and still Takes today, catch, if you look at catch as yeah, well. Catch yeah. as well. took a catch as well. Mm. First time in the catch. IPL apparently to, for a player to get a hundred, get a wicket and a catch. So he's yeah. done everything he's, he could. He's done everything he could. And it just takes me back. In 2012, we had the exact same situation where Narayan got five wickets and mm. looked dominant. And then KKR just, Punjab just beat KKR and squeezed through. So sometimes it happens, you know, that you've done everything that you can. And even tactically, if you see it, they actually, it worked what they did. They got the wickets of the spinners, they slowed them down. Ashwin coming in didn't work for them. Ashwin couldn't get off. Mm -hmm. Hitmar came, got off. So it took one superhuman effort to just take them down, even though if you look at stages of the game, KKR, except for the first five inning, uh, first five overs of the innings and the last three, four overs of the innings, I think KKR were dominant the rest mm -hmm. of the match. There was a critical over. And it was the battle of Jamaican against uh, <laughs> Trini, yeah. where Narayan had to bowl his final over. And you just sat and watched and you just thought, well, he can't go for another seven or eight. Because if he does, it's almost effectively the game is done, mm -hmm. right? And Rothman Powell decided, I'm going to go at you. Yes. And he managed to get him. Or he got out of, what was it, the final ball of the over. But he had done the damage. But he had done enough damage to just mm. keep them in it. At a minimum, they needed to get 15 off the over. And he just kept them in touch. So the job was that much, you know, less to do to try and get over the line. So, yeah, fabulous things going on mm -hmm. in the game. As we said, battles uh, within the big war. And it's wonderful to watch as it unfolded. You know, Joy, sorry. Sorry, 96 in the last six, never been chased before. Yes. In IPL history, what an inning. I mean... How they did it is absolutely amazing. And, and that's what, now what you're saying is, no total is safe. Enough, you never no know what total is, is enough. Safe. Well, yeah, you've got to get more than 270. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you're okay. You, <laughs> never, know. you never know because you know. they were just 25 runs short. So you never know. But you know, when we, was, when we were watching the innings inside and we said, you know, Jaws Butler's not looking like the Jaws Butler. And even like the last two, three weeks, people have saying that he's not, the Joss Butler we're used to seeing, but now we can clear that out and say he's back to what we know Joss Butler can do. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, just look at it, seven centuries and 
I mean, he was he's been spectacular over the last two, three years, except for last year, which he did had a bit of a blip. But he's been absolutely spectacular the year before that, reached 80, 90 odd runs. But my point is just that he still is not looking as fluent. He doesn't start you know, off fluently. He still like is he not was. looking the fluency. Yeah. Like when Sanju Samson came in and hit a couple of shots, he looked so good. Even Riyan Parag just standing there still and hitting it. Butler didn't look that mm. good. And still he goes and does that. And that tells you something that what a class batsman he is when he's not in his best form and still can hit your match winning 100. That tells you, you know, it's a, it's a triumph of technique, of understanding of the game, understanding of his own game, everything to take Shepard his team to victory. Effectiveness. <laughs> That's everything that we do, right? That's what it's about. Effectiveness. And it's not how you look. It doesn't matter how it looks. Can you get the job done? Mm. And just the boss gets the job done. Well, more he gets. Often, he more gets often than not. Eight out of eight of his T20 hundreds that he's got have been in a winning cause. So he answers that question more often than not. Like every time he's got a hundred, the team's gone and won. Yeah, and and that's exactly what I'm saying. That just how effective can you be? And um, each time you put an opposition under pressure, you don't just put them under pressure for a little bit and let them off the hook. You make sure you complete the job, and he did that tonight brilliantly. And it, as unlikely as it looked, yes. in his mind, he worked it out that I need to do this. Whilst we sat there and we said, okay, 10, how many? 10 sixes, five sixes, <laughs> four sixes, three sixes. We kept counting yeah, down, didn't we? Yeah, they needed four sixes yeah. and 10 balls. Yeah, we kept counting it, down, didn't we? Yeah. And we thought, if you think about it, you know, if you're the bowling group, 10 balls, you're not going to go for four sixes, mm -hmm. are you? And guess what? You do. Yeah. Because he can. The other thing I was thinking about is very clearly, Varun Chakravarti did not want to bowl that last Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it's an interesting one. Suppose you're a captain, okay? You've got the ball in your hand. It's, a, it's one over left. I think Andre Russell still had nowhere to go. I think he did. I can so check. Let's check up. I think, I check. I think yeah. he did. And that's my point. But the, there was a message, he had yeah, three overs there, three yeah, left, but there one, was yeah. a message sent by Gautam Gambhir, which is very evident. We, we saw yeah, Suya Shand and it's, other. It's an interesting one because off the field, Gautam is not seeing mm -hmm. Varun face to face or Gautam cannot see Varun's, has no way of getting Varun's reaction back. Mm -hmm. So, but if, also, Yeah, but also, Joy, um, do you remember him, uh, Russell, trying to feel the ball with yes, his, foot his foot and then getting up and yeah. seeing? We thought he wasn't yeah, going to carry on, so yeah, maybe yeah. he couldn't. So, we don't know. I mean, it But they may wait, wait a minute. Weber Varoda also might have an over. Yes, Weber Varoda had an over. Yes. That yes. might have been the, that yes. might have been the discussion. Yeah. So, my point is, yeah, yeah. Russell not there, Weber. Question is, here's the interesting thing. Gautam must have sent a message saying that Varun is a good, and it was a good call mm. because you're taking a chance. Also because Weber went for 15 in his throw. Like so, over. you're saying Varun is the bowler who's doing yeah. well. You take a chance, one miss it and the game's over. They yeah. realize that. But yeah. Okay, the, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, my, my only one question is, if Gautam at that point had been the captain of KKR and been mm. on the field, okay, and seen his reaction, Varun's reaction when he was handed the ball saying, Do you, you know, bowl the last one, would he have given the ball? The problem is, Gautam has taken the, made a call from the outside yes. and he said something and he said that, you know, this is probably the best. And strategically, it is the right call. But if the bowler then reacts in a particular way, then it's an interesting one for Shreyas to say that, you know what, I don't think Gautam, uh, Varun wants to bowl this, let me give it to Bayfabu. So that's the interesting thing that happens when you have calls from the outside because at the end of the day, it's the captain on the ground mm -hmm. who has to make that final call. There's also the necessity to somewhat erase what's gone before and keep kind of working going forward. Um, situation of you go for 15 early in the game is there no fielders out, you're bowling within the power mm -hmm. play, so you know you could go for that many. And when you get to the back end, you've then got to ask the question, one, um, in our planning and sort of forethought, is this guy one of the guys we say should execute at the back end, bowl us one over? Each bowler's got to be ready to bowl yeah. one over in the final few it. overs and figure out what their plan is. They'll have practice for that. So if he is one of the guys, then you back him again to say, right, up front, your job didn't, you didn't quite get it right. Uh, but in a game that's going at 
tens and elevens, it can happen, right? Mm -hmm. So, and you went at 15. So that's just about everybody on the day. So here we go. Here's a scenario where you're at the back end. Can you go for 12? Can mm -hmm. you go for 15? Well, can you defend? Here's an over for you. Have a go. And if, if, you, if you manage to erase, then you give a guy a chance at redemption, but also a scenario where events a different events. Yes. Not, it's not a continuation on the same line. We, we saw Harshad Rana do it for the game where he picked up that crucial wicket and he defended it but wasn't meant to be today with the uh, 19th over that he bowled was very expensive and pretty much went all over the place. You'd have to ask exactly the same question. So because a guy does it well in the power yes. play, it doesn't mean he's going to do it well at the back end. If he's not the guy for the back end, Whilst many people might sit there and go, oh, he's having a good day today and therefore I'm going to make him, if he's not the guy, if he's not been practicing doing that, it's not going to suddenly on the day turn up and he's going to bowl six Yorkers when he hasn't practiced it. So who are the people? You've got to pre-plan for absolutely all of that to know when it comes to those five overs, who have you got? Who's bowling two? Who's bowling mm -hmm. one? When do they generally bowl? Do, do they know they're bowling in that time when they're under the pump? We'll have a look at the bowling court, Joyda, because, you know, like we are discussing, if you had to, who would you have thrown the ball to? Because Harshad had finished his four, uh, besides the spinners, who've, whose economy yeah, is Russell been injured, everyone was expensive. Was ever Varora, yeah. Yeah. Their only chance was ever Varora. And I think, look, it was, I feel, if you blank everything else, it's still, the 158 had gone off the fast bowlers, which is a... A huge amount. I mean, yeah. if 12 overs, 158 runs have gone up them. But there's only one question that you have to ask yourself, which is that two things that KKR will look at. One is, remember, had they things could have been different had they had one fielder outside as well. Mm. So they also, remember that cost uh, yes. Rajasthan in the previous match mm. against them when Rashid Khan took them down. Mm. Today it cost KKR. So that's one thing that they'll be much more aware of every time now that we've got to be bowling faster, we've got to be careful about time, you know, mm -hmm. time management has to be better. And I think the second is the fact that uh, you you can do so much captaining or you can make so many decisions from the outside, you need to take, it's, a, it's the captain on the field who needs to decide what mm -hmm. to do then. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for them as well because I think that is that, that one thing is if a bowler doesn't want to bowl an over, under very few circumstances do I ever want to throw him the ball. Yes. Because that first ball that he bowled was not yes. the Varun Chakravarti that we saw. And once that first ball went for six, the match was set up mm. because then you have three in five balls. So whatever he did, he could afford to play three dot balls. That first six was the did. problem. Yeah. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. yeah. And I, we've also got to say this though. You get these games that get thrown up and you do... 94, 95, 96% of things absolutely correctly. Absolutely. Mm. And there's a 3, 4, 5% that tips the game the other way. And can you do something about it? Yes, in hindsight, because that's 2020, right? Like you can, 2020 vision, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can look back and say, oh, I, I should have, have done, done this, this yes. and I, I shouldn't have bowled that one, or you shouldn't have, as the yeah. case is with many pointing fingers, right? You shouldn't have bowled this one, should have bowled that one there and all the rest and you rejig the pieces. But you do what you think at the time and sometimes you, you'll get it wrong simply because of the pressure of those moments at the back end of the mm. game. And it, they're so, it's so amped up this season because of better use of that impact rule, impact sub and so forth, longer batting lineups. And also, got to give it to the batters to say... Many of them have improved um, their power hitting mm -hmm. and, and more because not because they hit it further per se, but more because it seems a whole lot more controlled these days with the confidence that they'll clear any of these boundaries. So you're under pressure if you're the bowler, whatever it is you're trying to defend. Mm. I once asked actually when we're here, Parlok here, Viru here, hey guys, what do you reckon is a, a good number? Like if I said to you as bowler, what can you defend? So last year, sort of towards the start of the tournament, I think Polly said, mm, I reckon probably about 15. So that's last year. Yes. Right? And 
And you're like, okay, so 15, you reckon you can defend? Say, yeah, I reckon I can get, you know, two dots away or two ones away, right? Now, if you get two ones away and the others, yes. they're four balls, are they going for, they're not all going for boundaries. There's a two in there somewhere so that you don't get past 15, right? Then you, I, I, I think I asked Viru, I said, hey, Viru, what do you reckon? What are you going to defend? You know, is it, what, what are you going to get if... One over, how many you get? Ah, uh, 20. <laughs> but I'm talking to Viru, <laughs> right? That's Viru. <laughs> because, and, and he's only talking how he bats, right? Yes. Like, he's only talking, yeah, it doesn't matter who, who's bowling, I think I can get 20. Mm. And this is where we are, where... It just keeps increasing. Yeah, it just, it just keeps, keeps increasing. going further yes. and further. So, yeah, unless, unless you're a Bumrah, who mm. even he, on some of the days, will get whacked. I yes. won't say 20 per se, but... You know, it's it's tough. You get it slightly wrong, and you got the right guy at the other end. You disappear out the ground. You know, Joy, that uh, at Eden Gardens now, KKR have got 200 plus scores twice. Today being the second time, the first time they won the last ball, and today they haven't managed to cross the line. So clearly, the bowlers, in spite of having the home advantage, are leaking a lot of runs towards the last five. Yeah, I think they've got to do look at that. <coughs> look, they've backed these two young boys, Harshit Rana. And Veva Varoda, and mm -hmm. they think that they can get them wickets, they think they'll develop confidence. Now, the truth is that as long as the team is winning, even if they leak a few runs, they tend to get away. Remember that SRH <laughs> result went in their favour. Yes. And finally, I think, uh, uh, was it Rana Varoda got a wicket in the last hour? Harshit got class Rana got class in so yeah. he kept his school in he that game. He kept his school. So that's the point. You're backing these kids and hoping that they'll finally. See, because inexperience will always give you a certain amount of inconsistency. Mm. You cannot expect kids to just come on and bowl brilliantly throughout. So that's going to happen. So this is their learning curve. They're going to get better with this match, with the next match. And I don't think, see, this KKR is still, even with this defeat, it's 4-2. and two. Yes. And I think they'll tell themselves, let's back these guys for a few more matches. And they'll be hardened. They'll learn from this match. They're going to get better and better and better. Mm. And I think that's how they are looking mm. at it. Because... Look, it's not as if you look at their squad and there's a lot of fast bowlers out there as options as well. Mm. I think they've decided to go with this. This is their set team. And it's also very much a Gotham strategy that you basically back make a set team, yeah. back it for as long as you can. It was worthy. It was worthy of a top of the table clash. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I want to have a look at the batting card because he spoke a lot about Joss uh, with the innings he played. But he had a whole lot of supporting cast who's played very well. And everyone ch chipping in that Drian Parag 34-14 was a very crucial knock. And then the 26 of 13 as well. Uh, uh, Pommy, yes, he's got those 107 runs. But without those two cameos, things would have looked very different. Yeah, the, the critical time was when the spinners came on and then they took the wickets, right? So when you think, when you think of the fact that Jurel goes out and um, Ashwin sort of doesn't manage to get it away and then Shimran Hetmeyer goes first ball, just pops it, to, you're thinking, oh dear, that's like too many wickets in a short space of time. But um, Rovman Powell... Uh, played as a, as a good innings, as you say, Riam Parag, but I think also Jaiswal probably was swinging as hard mm. as, as he could. Uh, 19 of 9 is also a, a good contribution because it's as it's set out, it's about make sure the power play is used and keep going through the middle. They were forced to kind of slow down in that middle period and it was... It, wasn't helpful that the spinners were on, right? Yes. So now you're in a situation where then it comes to now hit the spin, get some impetus and away you go. And that was when Robman Powell came to the party and, and the rest is, is um, Joss Butler. Mm -hmm. So it's also interesting that they had a choice because Robman Powell was also there. So was, you know, they, they had Robman Powell there in the team, Joss Butler. They might have panicked and said, you know, let's go with Nandri and see what happens yes. in this line. So they didn't think of all that. They just stuck mm. to their plans. They said, you know, this is what we want to do. And it's so important. That 26 of 13 is a crucial knock under the circumstances. Because that was the over that changed everything. Yes. Well, uh, they managed to keep their cool. Uh, Josh, the boss, kept his cool and uh, so did RR. So, let's have a look at the carrier room air conditioner's coolest moment of the match. Uh, we uh, have a whole lot of cool moments because this was a nail-biting game. Uh, have you all thought of your coolest moments, Pommy, Joyda? There's just so many of them, yeah. 
Yeah, there's there's so many of them. I mean, it, it's just it's just one of those things. So today's day was so stressful that I think we forgot to think of the coolest moments. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, I I have many coolest <laughs> moments. I I thought Ajay Avish Khan's catch to start off with, oh. and you know, yes. showing the glove mm -hmm. as well. That was really cool. I thought it was really funny. I thought he that was a cool <laughs> moment for me. And you're right, there are too many cool moments through the match. So there's many more to go. So for you, it's uh, Avish's catch then. Yeah, for I, me, so for you. I I just think that you you know. Sunil Narayan's got to have some moment somewhere. There's Do you know so what I mean? Many like, of them. There's so many, but he's got to have some moment somewhere yeah. because he's going home with nothing at, <laughs> at this stage. You know what I mean? They yeah. did so well, got 100, got maybe, wickets. Maybe the smile after his 100, we don't see too much yeah, emotion. Yeah, smile. yeah fair I enough. Smile? I think what, what for me was even more special was one was his smile, mm. the other was Russell's reaction when he got the 100. Ah. The yeah. celebration. and. When you see a team like that, when you see teammates that happy for you when you've got your 100, mm. I think that no matter what has happened today, that speaks very well for uh, for Kolkata. Mm. I think that is my coolest moment of the day. So yours is got a which couple. one then? Uh, no, I'll it's go with Russell's celebration. Russell's when celebration too. Yeah, he's, he's got a few. Yeah, he, he's got a few. He, you reminded him of a few. So yours will also be... Uh, I, I don't know uh. if I can choose. It's like choosing between your children. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't ever want okay. to do that. Well, our fans have chosen. So let's yeah. have a look at what they've written in. Uh, because like we said, there's so many cool moments. Uh, Hari Haran says, Joss the boss. What a knock under pressure. Batting with the tail. Superb knock. Definitely a superb knock there. Prat Sure says... Harsha Bogle making Sur Sunil Narayan smile, the rarest of feats to achieve in cricket, <laughs> by reminding him of his uh, famous line, Badri, I'll be watching from home, is my coolest moment of the match. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, I can vouch for one thing because I've, uh -huh. I mean, I've known Sunil Narayan, I've spent three years travelling with Sunil Narayan to all parts uh -huh. and I can tell you, uh, uh, getting a wicket from him is easier than getting a word out of him. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> but well, he's the sweetest man, but uh -huh. getting him to speak is impossible. But we've got getting a lot of tweets for him, X's or whatever it is. Let's have a look at what Arjun has to say. The way Sunil Narayan keeps reinventing himself is phenomenal. After 500 T20 wickets, a T20 hundred. Wow. Carrier, coolest moment of the match. So clearly, uh, Sunil Narayan seems to. You said he's taking away nothing, but he's taking away a lot of tweets. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad he's getting a coolest moment because yes. yeah, he's, he's not taking two points. That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joyda had his, Pommy had his. Thank you for writing in. These were our coolest uh, carrier room air conditioner coolest moment of the match. Uh, this was uh, the table topper like we spoke about. So now let's have a look at the points table because we've uh, got Rajasthan sitting very pretty with those 12 points, Joyda. So we can say now that they're in. They're one of the four in. Uh, you can't say they're oh. one of the four in because, I mean, this you you need to win eight to be absolutely sure. Even seven could be dicey. But they've, they've done most of the heavy lifting. I mean, mm. it's very difficult. Remember, there was a season in Rajasthan, I think, you know, swept it in the beginning and then just won yes. a couple of matches towards the end and then qualified at 7-7. Seven and seven. So, these things happen all over the place. But I'd say the forget about what they've done. Mm. I think the resilience that they've shown bodes very well for the future. Because the way that they've managed to come back in today's match, had this been a one-sided match and they won from the start, everyone getting runs, it's a different matter. Mm. But you got smashed for 223. Uh, their spinners have come and taken wickets in the middle, you've collapsed in the middle and yet you have had the resilience to come and win. I think that is, I think, most significant about their victory. It's their greatest quality, I think. Speaking of victories, uh, uh, do you have to say something, please? Oh. <laughs> speaking of victories, <laughs> speaking of victories. You know, I, thought, I, I wanted to build it up towards the end and you just didn't let the build up happen, Joy. That. Listen, I'm just being patient. Listen, you know? listen, listen. It doesn't happen that I, often. I want to say something here, I want to say something. Both of you, this is my first time in here, to, you know, for this season. And I, look, if GK was here, may, like I, maybe I could understand. But both we're changed. Of you, we're changed people, aren't we? With the I, and I don't. We should ask the people out there if it's for the better. I don't know that it's for the better. You know? I think he's like I mean, fighting. I mean, take away the impact uh, rule. Take away this. Uh, take away that. I, I think that the humility has left the room. 
There's humility is left to look. This you think... building no longer has humility. God. You, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just let's call up Gaurav Kapoor and say somebody huh? said that he was, you, he, Gaurav had humility because I can't imagine that. Uh, that's not what, that's not what he that's said. That's not what that, I'm saying. He said that he expected this from Gaurav Kapoor, but he didn't expect the humility to be lost by everyone else. And that's what has happened. On that note, by the way, we did ask another question too on who's going to like win today, right? I just thought I'd put them oh, up. Oh, yeah. humility has left the room <laughs> on the See, first game. I, if you can't the, beat them. Pommy, we've been around for now four weeks. You've lost you, your humility on the first day. <laughs> what about that? If you can't beat them. <laughs> join them. Join them. Ah, well, join them. But we need to. Well, KKR uh, didn't hit the bullseye. But there is one uh, uh, true Bengali in the house who hit the bullseye. So we have to applaud Mr. Joy Bhattacharya. Bullseyes are tough. We need to. Yeah. We need to. Thank you, thank yes. you, thank I'll you. I'll say, well done, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, we've got two people up there now. Oh, Sammy's up wow. there. Oh, I love standing next exciting. to this legend. It feels great to be standing next to him, but I want to tip him over. Because this is the only place I can. So, <laughs> I have to get lucky. Oh. Uh, now, I think uh, we need to get back to our serious business. Uh, we Let's have a look at what's happening tomorrow. The uh, prediction game, we can go on and on, right? We take it so seriously. But tomorrow, uh, we've got serious business in the house. Gujarat take on Delhi. Both uh, these teams are coming off wins. But uh, for me, both Gujarat and Delhi need to get this under their belt. Uh, we'll have a look at Delhi first and their squad. Uh, they're I think uh, at number nine right now on the points table, they've just not got things going. You know, there is Panth who's been in good form and, you know, Prithvi scored a few times. Aksar has not really been in his best. They just need things to come together for them. Maybe it's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, um, Gone for too many runs. Because mm. when you think about them, you go, oh, bowling, what's happening? You know, how come they're not able to put it together? still trying to sort of get some sort of flow going. And when you look at the batting as well, you're going, oh, yeah, are they going, are they not? Warner, um, he, he injured himself actually in the His previous finger, game. Yes. Yeah, so got hit on the hand. And, mm. and you wonder if he is going to be there tomorrow. Punt has got some runs. He's, you know, got a couple of half centuries and looks in decent enough touch. Prithvi Shaw has come back to some sort of form, and that's a good thing. A man who's um, kind of been, you watch and you think, well, wow, they, they'll be wondering, should, should we have kept him, should we not? It's Tristan Stubbs mm. is striking at nearly 200 and mm. unfortunately is kind of ending up on the losing side, but is playing beautifully, played well in the domestic season as well, in, in, you know, in leading up to here. So he's a man who's come in with form. I've enjoyed watching Khalil Ahmed. He's, he's been good again this season. Uh, they, need, they need a scenario where tomorrow they win. Jake Fraser McGurk. <laughs> what an innings that was. And stand there just whack it. You want to watch when yes. he's there because you know that what he's trying to do is hit everybody for six. So if Warner's not fit, perhaps he's the one who mm. goes up to the top of the order and can start things off and look to put those bowlers under pressure. They, they do need to get a wriggle on and already, you know, many are sort of looking and saying, mm, not sure that they can, they can get there to, to the playoffs. Mm. And also no Mitch Marsh, that's going to be a blow because... Mitch Marsh, what's the secret? Yeah. Mitch Marsh has gone back every time. Show me an IPL season where he's yeah. not been injured. Because look, I don't mind it, his heart is not in it. This is a big stage, it's big money. But you know, what he's looking at is the T20 World Cup. So even if he has a half a niggle, mm. he's not going to take the chance. I mean, that's the truth of it. So he's gone back and that's something... Uh, to be honest with you, Delhi should have expected. I mean, you take somebody like Mitch Marsh, that's an occupational hazard that you will have. Mm. And it's happened throughout. The second part of it is, I think, really what's important for them is Nokia has to take wickets. He's not taking wickets for them. He's not giving them breakthrough. The spinners are not giving them enough. Mm. And once you have that, then Khalil has actually been bowling very well compared to his previous seasons. But if those three don't fire for them and they don't get wickets from them, uh, they're going to be in trouble. Because right now with their current team, they have to, you know, if Warner's fit, they yeah. have to play with that three international batter combinations. Because they need... Fraser McGurk, 
I feel they Warner, Fraser McGurk, and Tristan Stubb. I think they need all three mm. really to be firing for them to have any of a chance. Because then you have Prithvi. Then if Rishab gives you something, uh, you know. But that's what it is. They don't have too many weapons. So the ones that they need, the international batters, they, they have to use. Them. They have it was to fantastic use. to see Kuldeep back. Yeah. Yes, Kuldeep's look great, but unfortunately for them, Aksar hasn't really fired. Aksar so, even though they want Aksar and Kuldeep to fire together for things to work for them. That's what, they've not had a partnership yeah. in the middle. Nokia is not giving them wickets, which he used to. That's the problem. Mm. Yeah, it's. I think Kuldeep being back would be a, a great help. I mean, in that previous game, you think about it, he comes in and he gets a couple of wickets straight away. Uh, and things have to sort of fall into place. And I know... You know, we tend to look at things in isolation, and when we do that, it's not, it's, that's not how a game is composed. Mm. So, like you're saying, Joy, up at the front, somebody strikes, you get a couple of wickets, then the effectiveness of the spinners that come on is slightly different. Like they'll be more effective, and you can get wickets in the middle, and then you don't have so much to do at the back end in terms of with the ball. You know, another strike and then suddenly you're actually in control and they're clamoring to bat their 20 overs and so forth. But if it doesn't happen up at the front and you go for a few runs, then when those spinners come on, you're leaving them later and later, lefties on, do I bowl them, do I not? Do I? And you're trying to shift bowlers away from certain batters who are in and then it just doesn't work. You've got yeah. too many you know, to try and fit in and, and, and it gets difficult. So wickets, the key, the most potent lineups in terms of attacks are the ones that can operate in the way that they want and they end up as effective as they ought to be. Um, and, you know, it seems like, oh, well, these guys are going quite nicely. And so well, although we saw tonight that sometimes that doesn't happen mm -hmm. and when it doesn't, you go for 220 odd. Well, we'll have a look at Gujarat squad now. Uh, they uh, got this win because Rashid Khan is back, which is great news for them. Uh, he pulled off a heist in their last match. Uh, Shubman has been scoring the runs. Uh, Rashid is back in his uh, element. So, things looking good for Gujarat and they need these two points under Absolutely. their belt. Absolutely. And they, they just won a you know a match where they yeah. pulled out of nowhere. Rashid won it for them. It's important for Rashid to do everything for them. Mm. Get wickets, score runs. Tewate always managed to get some teams over the line in the end. He'll always give you one or two matches. Again, they're starting to look like a dangerous team. Uh, if Shah Rukh and Abhinav Manor give them a bit more and they get a bit more batting out of them, I think now we've got Sai Sudarshan and Shubman set up up front. And if Wade can give them something, uh, it'll be good. But uh, interesting, I'd, I'd be interested to know about Riddhiman's uh, fitness because mm. I think that's also a crucial factor. If he comes in, then they can afford to play Omar Zai and that changes the composition of the team. It gives them more options. And also David Miller yeah. because Who we don't know what's happening Miller. with… Yeah. yeah, and I think it's uh, Miller and Saha are particularly important. Yeah, right? yes. but um, is, is Miller close to fit being… Yeah, I think he was close to it in, in the previous game. I think uh, but there were a definite. There were two, two games close together and they didn't want to risk it because they, I think they had three days after that. So give him as much time for the hamstring to be fully mended and then get back so on the horse. Then Miller would be priority. So he, I think he'll be back in um, and then hopefully for, you know, for their sake, they would want Ridiman Saha back in as well. And if they can have that, then, you know, yes. where we go, that composition, they can now look at it slightly differently again. And um, as long as they're lengthening that order, they'll be very happy that Tawatia and... Um, and Rashid were able to do what they did because in the absence of those two senior guys, here are guys at the back end who've got some confidence and they're putting in essentially what is their batting lineup if they were able to choose what is a for top six, top mm. seven, top eight, you know. So quickly then your players to watch out for from both teams. For me, I mean, for GT, I'd go with Rashid. Mm. Because Rashid is a streaky player. Once he's, he's a confidence player. He's just caught wickets. He's just scored a few runs. I think he's high on confidence right now. And uh, Delhi? Uh, Delhi, I think a lot depends on how Rishabh Pant plays. And I think Rishabh Pant needs to... I mean, they're backing Porel at number mm. three. I'd really like to see somebody else go in there. I, I want Rishabh Pant to bat not lower than four. And I think he can make an impact. He needs to give this team something now. So it's going to be Pant and Rashid for you, Pommy for you. Yeah, for me, I'm going um, 
Kuldeep Yadav, I absolutely love him, mm. the way he's going. Um, wonderful form, control, he's landing it where he wants, he bowls that bit quicker, deceives guys with spin and with flight as well. Just magnificent to watch. And perhaps he can turn the fortunes of the Delhi Capitals. And then um, the senior role that Miller plays in that GT side. It's great to watch Shubmani, is always great watching watching him get runs and so forth. More importantly, what I'm watching with him is, is his captaincy and mm -hmm. how he handles the pressure. You could tell he was under pressure in that previous game. But yeah, Miller as, as the senior guy, the guy who they can kind of look to, who over the couple of seasons that they've done well, has been given this responsibility and role to keep things together and has done. All right, guys, uh, it's time now to see who's got the bullseye uh, on Mr. Joy Bhattacharya's question. He got the bullseye in the prediction uh, game. So, Joyda, all yours. Oh, absolutely. Who dismissed the lips at this in his last test innings and took the wicket of his son, Rajdeep, in the latter's debut first class innings for Oxford? The bowler was playing for Kent and before that for England. It's Derek Underwood who really unfortunately left us today. Uh, one of the finest bowlers. Great, great bowler and, uh, you know, he's one of the few people who's uh, on helpful pitches, he was unplayable, but even on non-helpful pitches, I mean, he has got Sunil Gavaskar out 12 times wow. in test matches. Nobody has got him out that many times. And, you know, Sunil mm. Gavaskar was the master craftsman of his age, the master test batsman, he's got him out 12 times. Brilliant bowler, great man, was the MCC uh, chairman also for a while. Uh, cricket will miss him. Didn't, didn't have a nickname of Deadly for, Deadly? for no reason. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And also they used to call him England's umbrella. Mm -hmm. ah. Because every time it rained, <laughs> he would like take over. <laughs> Let's have a look at who's gotten the answer uh, and who's gotten it quickly. I'm sure a lot of... Kanishk Jori has gotten this correct. Uh, well done, Kanishk. Uh, Joyda is not looking happy in the photograph, but he's looking very happy in uh, person that you've gotten his answer correct. So please keep writing in... Uh, because Joyda loves getting correct answers in. Uh, Pommy, are you happy with the way the competitiveness <laughs> has kicked in in Craig Buzz Live? Or do you want it to go back to the laid back ways which were in la last season? Or are you going to get used to this? Mm, I think that is a question for all of you <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, I think so. it's a question for everybody out there. Do, what do you reckon? Should I whip them back into line? You know, bring <laughs> some humility back, back to the crit bus. Humility, uh, Ooh, but your humility building. left the left the building. Yeah, what well, we can we can summon the humility <laughs> and have it come back. I think I might do that. Okay, I'm going to struggle because whew, <laughs> GK is going to be back. Yeah, yeah well, that, that's a, didn't Liverpool lose the other day? Oh, sorry, wrong discussion. Oh. 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 Let's move Pain, on. Shots Painful. are being fired. Let's Shots move are being on. fired <laughs> humbly. But Pommy, it's great to have you back. Congratulations, Joyda, on your first bullseye. I wish you many more, but you as long as you stay under. You know, there. Uh, <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yet another thrilling nail-biting game we've had. I have no nails left when the IPL's on. Uh, hopefully, we have one more tomorrow. So, don't forget to join us at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Good night and goodbye. <laughs> Hyderabad Delhi mein aapka swagat Lucknow junction Nilanada kadege haridwar hai Hyderabad Kuchar Express Bharatiya station Netaji Babu Kepaliya Hill